on today's episode of Geek Beat, everything you ever wanted to know about John P. And then some. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Drive sober or get pulled over. Today's special edition of Geek Beat is just for you guys. You had questions for John P. and I'm here to ask them. Let's get started. You eyeballing me, boy? Nope. Guillermo Abreu says, have you ever been arrested? No, but I've probably gotten more speeding tickets than just about anybody you know. He also wants to know if the world was going to end, what three things would you do? Technically, the world is going to end. But I guess you mean, what if it was going to end immediately? And since this is a kid-friendly show, I, I don't think I can tell you what I'd do. Can you cry underwater? I'm John P. Where do you think water comes from? Jared Dworkshag asks, what are you reading and watching in your spare time? <laughs> spare time. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one, yeah. Uh. Will you share your workout music or playlist selections with the world? The only music that I really listen to is like the clanging of the steel made by John P's biceps. But if I was going to listen to any music, I guess it'd probably be... Um, I'm awesome by Spose. What's your super choice this year? Avalimino. Every year. Favorite food from Jason Wynn? Gummy worms. Oh. What was that for? Sorry, I got carried away. Okay, moving on. Charles Phillips and Jason Wynn want to know kind of the same question. How can I be as awesome as John P? And what is it like being John P? Are you going to hit me again? Answer the question. Okay, frankly, to be honest, it's pretty boring. I mean, I get up in the morning, I, I use a bathroom in my solid gold toilet, just like the next guy. Then my personal chef makes me some sort of boring breakfast. Then Helga, my Swedish, extremely hot masseuse, boringly rubs my back. Then the limo picks me up and it takes me on the exact same route to the geek house every day. I have to walk through the transporter room, I have to stare at Han Solo on the wall, I have to come sit in my office and stare across the hall at Callie Lewis all day, every day, day after day. And it just pretty much kind of continues on from there. So. What a life you have, John P. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. Paul Dixon gives you this scenario. You've been tasked to lead the fight against the robot slash zombie slash alien invasion. Who are the first three people you ask to join your team or your army? Well, first of all, Callie Lewis, because I know she is the leader of the robots. So that's going to put a real crimp in their plans and make it tough for them to keep going without her. And then I guess uh, probably Ozzy Osbourne, because I'm pretty sure he's in control of the zombies. And then uh, no alien invasion is going to occur on Earth as long as I'm here, if, if you catch my drift. And speaking of aliens, Janny wants to know who your favorite Doctor Who companion is. Mmm. Mmm. Martha Jones. And your favorite Doctor? Tenet, without a doubt. Now... What do you think of drinking and driving? Uh, don't do it? That's right. If you're out for the evening and you've been drinking, get a ride, call a cab, or find some other safe way home. Because getting arrested for drunk driving can cost you a lot more than an arrest and a fine. It could cost legal fees, court costs, the loss of your license, and more. Right now, all cops across the country are cracking down on drunk driving, and they'll see you before you see them. Drive over or get pulled over. Now for the top ones. Kevin C. East Coast or West Coast? Ooh. That is truly the hardest question yet. Let's see. Uh, the Beastie Boys are East Coast, but NWA is straight out of Compton. I'm going to stick with neutral and go with Texas. Okay, fair. Helicopter or plane? I am 100% 787 luxury liner, baby. Car or truck? I got like 10 of each. How am I supposed to answer that question? Maybe you can answer this one. Mark Bolden, 
puts another scenario in front of you. Okay. You're marooned on an island that strangely enough has Wi-Fi and an impossible power generator that runs on seawater. It's inaccessible for rescue for six months because of a freak weather anomaly that has the island in the calm eye of the storm. You can have five gadgets. What would they be? Now, you do not have Wilson. He was killed by a murderous seagull beak. So don't even ask. Is Callie Lewis with me? And Benjamin Raythig wants to know what was your first major gadget? A TI 99 4A. Bruce Reinhardt, if you were suddenly restricted to one social media site to promote GeekBeat, what would it be and which why? And why? <laughs> uh, Google Plus, because I love it. Bjorn Holmgren wants to know if you could choose any guest to be on your show, who would it be? <sighs> Sylvester Stallone. Matt Lemon. Why a plug-in hybrid? In your opinion, is the internal combustion engine in its current form near end of life? I need to know so that I can start stockpiling gas. Well, I was told that my 400 horsepower, 12 mile per gallon vehicles were killing the planet, so I got a plug-in to kind of just <laughs> even the score. Okay. <laughs> Stefan Sildilitsky says, because you have Greek roots, did you have some typical Greek behavior? Yes, to be honest, I have a terrible Greek temper, and I have been told it is truly my single worst trait. <laughs> All right, Pete Luritzen, Stumper. If you dig a hole that is three feet by three feet, and it's three feet deep, how much dirt is in the hole? I am going to assume that you don't want me to say that a nine cubic foot hole would technically be empty. So I'll say 42. Yes. I've given it quite a bit of thought. And final question. John Sweeney. Helicopter or submarine? Why do you guys want to get rid of me so bad? I mean, first of all, I can't say submarine because there's just a bunch of sweaty, smelly, stinky guys down there. So how about a helicopter full of hot chicks? Okay, that is it. Thank you guys for all the questions. John P? Did I pass? You tell us. Leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up, two thumbs up, or if you didn't pass, please don't give us a thumbs down. I'm Callie Lewis, that's John P. Bye. Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to be serious. Bye! Here's a blowtorch. Here's my arm. So I wouldn't normally be doing that kind of thing with my skin. Or, or for the water lovers, come summer, they'll appreciate the BRV1. Hats, which but it's better because it's bigger. Wait, are you referring to a beverage dispenser backpack? I am.